Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to our video. Hope you enjoyed our little lice video we showed. We should have checked for mites also and talk about mites, but I'll have to do that in a separate video. So today we're back and we're gonna start working on our project again. We are about 34 days away from Lula, our first goat to have babies. So we need to get our kidding stall done and really exciting change to the general population area inside the barn is we took out the middle divider. This is the dividing wall we put up a while back and it is uh, two by six tongue and groove boards that are sandwiched in there with a two by two. And I mounted the feeders on one side and then I mounted the feeder on the other side, which it works out nice, but it'd be easier if the feeders were on the outside wall over here and the outside wall over there so we could just reach over and feed them. So we're gonna eliminate this wall and relocate the feeders. Okay, we got one feeder moved. It was there. Now it's there. And we have the same thing on the other side to do. And then next month it'll be there. No. <laughs> so now there's one big space for the goats and I'm in here cleaning right now and then I'll show you how it is. They seem to really enjoy it. So I'm cleaning right now and everyone's eating. But it's big in here. We moved the feeders to the back wall so that we can feed from the other side of the wall. And there's three feeders total. This one we have to come in and fill, but gives them space. And they like it. Okay, everyone's cleaned up and ready for the day. Hi, Shugs. They'll probably be in all day because it's a little yucky outside. You're good for the day. Enjoy. All right, guys. Another rainy day. A little more progress on the barn expansion. So today we're going to try to finish up this wall behind me. We got... A little bit of house wrap on it there we got it all plywooded up and so I'm just gonna finish up the house wrap and then we're gonna start putting some siding on. starting her pregnancy 30 day new diet here pretty soon. A couple more days she'll be getting a grain and getting on the milk stand and then we will do her CD&T vaccine and we are going to do a coccidia feed additive that will help with the babies not getting coccidia. So we're going to add 
decox to her feed so that way when she sheds coccidia eggs which which they always carry the parasite the babies won't have live eggs on the ground because she will have had the um, preventative in her food today we've got to run to home depot to pick up some lights for the outdoor extension we're building onto the barn so we're gonna go pick up our lights luckily they still have the same light that we did years ago on the front of the barn so it'll match and then we'll pick up two different ones on the sides of the barn So these look kind of like the inside ones, kind of like the ones we have on the inside of the barn too. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. That would be nice. I'm going to go ahead and show you the steps that I take to go from this window with no trim to this. It's actually really easy. Uh, I seen this a long time ago. I think I seen it on YouTube or something. Uh, a guy was framing out some windows and I just kind of liked some of the touches that he did. And so I kind of changed them a little bit for, for our barn, but I'm going to show you the process of how I cut each piece and uh, how I laid it out. So in case if you guys have a barn that has just some plain windows, it's really easy to put some trim around them like this and dress them up a little bit. So these are one by four cedar boards which are going to measure they call them a one by four but they're going to measure three quarters of an inch by three and a half on the face and this piece i ripped down uh I, you could do you could use a skill saw if you have one um, i did it on the table saw but i ripped it down at a 10 degree bevel right here so that we have a little bit of downslope. so if any water collects in the window and drips out here it's going to drip onto here and then hopefully just drip off and not go back behind the window, which the window is flashed the best I could for a barn um, and this kind of siding, but that's another, that's another, that's another deal. But so then underneath you just take a one by four and put it underneath at the same distance that this is going to be. I like to leave this out a little bit just because I think it looks cool. And then I just do the same up above and you could always put a little topper. If you didn't have an Eve, you could put a little topper on the top kind of like I did kind of like I did like that this is just a little topper there's not a lot of shelter on this door so I thought I would dress that up a little bit and just put a little little topper on there you can see I did that on our upper windows up there and the door has a, a little top shelf there because those windows aren't really flashed or those doors aren't flashed at all they're just you know it's just a barn I also did one along the top of our sliding rail up there I kind of boxed it in just so it looked a little cleaner but yeah so you could always put a little topper on there if you wanted to I didn't put a topper on that window just because honestly I didn't buy enough materials so <laughs> uh, so save yourself a couple bucks and don't do a topper uh, but let's go back to the window that I have to do and I'll show you piece by piece how I put it together Again, I'm going to reference this. I'm not a professional builder. I just, I, I'd like to do stuff in my spare time. I hope you get some tips and tricks out of this video. And just remember that I'm not a professional and nobody's paying me to do this. I wish they were, but nobody's paying me. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got all our pieces cut. We're going to put our side pieces that I cut at a small 10 degree bevel on the bottom and pre-measured, I measured the same off the other window. So we're gonna put those up here, like that, and just put a little mark on the side. And that's how I'm gonna know how far to put this edge piece. We're gonna overhang about an inch and a half. So we'll put a little inch and a half mark there. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the edge of my bevel piece, right there. So I'm gonna fasten this, I'm gonna kinda toenail this in, and then this board is going to get nailed up like that. And it'll sit on our other board like that. Okay, so we're going to do, can you see that? So we're going to do that real quick. By the way, it's, it's pouring. Pouring. Okay, so we're going to take our beveled side, right? Our side that has the angle on it. And we're going to put that against the barn. And then we're going to line it up with our mark over there. 
we're gonna make sure we're up right up underneath of the window and then I'm just gonna shoot a little staple in right here so it's hidden by the next board okay kind of at an angle we'll go over we'll do the other side same way so now our sides on like so make sure they're all the way down on our board so I just want to make sure that the bevel is facing down so that it matches the angle of our little trim piece we put on here. Put that on. Kind of like that. And I'm just going to tack it. We'll do our bottom piece. Oh, so I think it's snowing now. So we'll throw our bottom piece on. And that one is just going to go to the edge of your piece coming down. So we're going to put this up under here. And I just kind of eyeball it. Just kind of eyeball it. And we'll pack that down. What are you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> Shed some light on this situation. You're not going to get on that ladder like that, are you? Okay. Oh, <laughs> my God. Hey, you want to go up in the loft and grab this? Sure. Okay, we're running the light in here and that'll be good so we can work at night Shuggy's helping Shuggy so all the barn lights are gonna be connected to one switch so when we turn on the inside lights these ones will turn on except the secret room will be separate switch but this one will continue with the other lights Shug Knight, you gotta go. Shuggy. Shuggy. Oh, Shuggy. Shuggy's little otter's coming in. How'd I do? You did all right, Helper. All right? You mean perfection? Yeah. I don't know if I'd say, I don't know if I'd go that far, but. The best helper you ever had? Yeah. 